Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A-Level Practice Paper C. Here we're working on question 12, a differentiation optimization question. The diagram shows the plan of a school running track. It consists of two straight sections which are opposite sides of the rectangle, two semicircular sections each of radius r meters. The length of the track is 300 meters all the way around and it can be assumed to be very narrow. Show that the internal area a meters squared is given by the following form. Okay, now the first thing I notice is that this formula here doesn't have any anything to do with this length here. So and that that is going to be an important factor in working out the area because it's going to be the area of the rectangle. Add the circle that's formed by either semicircle in each end will make up ultimately the area. So what we have to do is probably use this 300 to eliminate L and therefore be able to find the area of the track in the internal area without any L's in there. So the first thing we're going to do, it's a two-stage problem. The first problem here is going to be the total perimeter of the shape. Um, so it's usually surface area when it's uh, three dimensions, but in this case, it's just two dimensions. So the perimeter of this shape here is going to be the area, so the perimeter of a circle, which is two pi r, add on two lengths of the running track there, so 2L. And this is going to equal 300. Okay, so eliminating L, we're going to get L equals, so I'm going to take away the um, 2 pi r onto the other side, and I'm then going to divide through by 2. I could simplify this additionally to 150 minus pi r over, no, not over anything, just 150 pi minus pi r. Okay, so now working out the area um, on the internal space in this track here. So we're going to get two semicircles so that will form a circle. So it's going to be pi r squared add on to um, the area inside here. So this is going to be 2 pi, 2, two r, sorry, from the length down from here to here, times by L. So 2R L base times height effectively inside that track. So the area is therefore going to be represented as 2R squared plus 2R. I'm going to re replace L with 150 um, minus pi R. So expanding the brackets here, I'm going to get pi r squared, add 300 r minus 2 pi r squared. So we can simplify this term and this term here. So that's just going to give us 300 r minus pi r squared. Okay, so that's the first part of the formula worked out. So we have um, the area here is equal to 300 r minus pi r squared. Okay, so the next part is find in terms of pi the exact maximum value of the internal area. You do not have to justify the value is maximum. Right, okay, so a classic optimization problem. To maximize the area, we have to do dA by dr and set the um, differential equal to zero. So it's going to be 300 minus uh, pi, 2 pi r. So the 2 is going to differentiate to, to r squared is going to differentiate to 2 pi r. And then we need to set this equal to zero. So uh, from here, we're going to get 300 equals 2 pi r. Uh, and dividing through by 2 pi, we're going to get 150 over pi. So the radius, when we maximize the, um, the area, is going to be 150 over pi. Um, find in terms of the maximum value of the internal area. So let's go back and plug in this value for r. Uh, back into A, so it's going to be 300 lots of 150 over pi, take away pi times 150 over uh, pi squared. So in this part here, we're going to get um, 
300 times 150 and then we're going to take away some of these pi bits here will cancel so it'll be 300 that's so that'd be 4000 that'd be three zeros here so it's be 4500 over pi and this is going to be take away uh, 150 squared is two no uh, it'd be two two five let's just get my calculator out 150 times 150 that's two two five zero zero um pi from the coefficient at the front over pi squared so you can see here's one of the pi's from this uh, right hand expression is going to cancel out um, and uh, and then we're going to do four, four, 45,000 take away 22,500 this is going to give us 22,500 um, over pi so one of the pi's will cancel here one of the pi's will cancel here and that's how we can just subtract the two from each other because they have a common denominator of pi. So 22,500 is the maximum value of the area, internal area of the trap. Great, 11 marks.